Hyundai electric vehicle or plug-in hybrid electric vehicle offers up to three different charging speeds that you can use, level one, level two, and level three. All Hyundai electric vehicles and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles can use level one and level two charging. Level three charging can only be used by electric vehicles or EVs and is not compatible with plug-in hybrids or PHEVs. Level one is often called portable charging and is the slowest charging option. Most Hyundai EVs or PHEVs include this type of charger. It uses normal 120 volt AC household electrical current. It's perfect for overnight charging for a PHEV, but can take up to more than 70 hours to fully charge an EV, depending on battery size. Level two or 240 volt AC charging is up to eight times faster than level one. This charging solution requires a 240 volt charger, which is typical of home EV charging units and is commonly found at public charging stations. Level two chargers can take up to seven and a half hours to charge a vehicle to 100% full battery. Level three or DC fast charging is the fastest solution because it uses industrial level 480 volts or 800 volt high power charger units at public or commercial charging stations. DC fast charger charge rates vary from 50 kilowatts all the way up to 350 kilowatts. Level three chargers provide the fastest charging with the ability to charge to 80% battery in less than one hour. Some Hyundai EVs can charge up to 80% in as little as 20 minutes when using ultra high power 350 kilowatt chargers. It's important to keep in mind that actual charging rates and times will vary based on a number of additional factors. For instance, when using level three charging, it's important to remember that the vehicle controls the charge rate to manage battery temperature and voltage. As the battery state of charge or SOC approaches 80%, the charge rate is significantly reduced to prevent over voltage that could harm battery life. As a result, the charge rate from 80% to 100% is much slower than the rate up to 80%. It may be more suitable to use a level two charger when charging in the range of 80 to 100%, since level three DC chargers are more expensive and may be limited on user session time. Also note that vehicles may have a maximum DC charger rate lower than the maximum output of the DC charger. See your owner's manual for the maximum charge rate for your Hyundai EV. In addition, the maximum charge rate may be lower at high or cold temperatures. Also be aware that the charging site can occasionally reduce maximum available power due to local conditions. Depending on your model and model year, your vehicle could have one of two different types of charge ports. See the electric vehicle charge ports video to learn which type yours has and which stations you should use. There are also available vehicle settings for charging and battery usage that allow you to customize charging. To access these, go to the EV or PHEV settings menu, depending on your vehicle. Charging current lets you set the maximum current to be used for AC charging. This can be used if you need to lower the current drawn from your home outlet due to circuit breaker loads. Charging limit lets you set the maximum amount of charge for your battery. When you have selected a DC charging site as your destination through in-vehicle navigation, turning on battery conditioning mode will allow the EV battery to preheat ahead of arrival to optimize DC charging. This is useful when outside temperatures are cold. There is much more to know about charging your Hyundai electric vehicle, such as charge ports, charging limits, and preconditioning. Be certain to watch all of the videos in the Hyundai Electric Vehicle Charging Playlist to ensure that you're getting the most out of your Hyundai EV. You can learn more about your Hyundai Electric Vehicle by consulting your owner's manual, available at My Hyundai, or the user's manual, accessible via the touchscreen. And be sure to explore the how-to guides at the Hyundai USA YouTube channel and at My Hyundai.